So numbers are all just one group numbers, pure numbers, whether they are fractions, integers, or roots, or whatever, they are considered like numbers. The point is, sometimes we cannot add, right, 2 plus square root of 2, we can't write it as a nice thing. So it just stay a 2, point, a 2 plus square root of 2. That's fine. And then like numbers, what I mean is that if you have a number multiplying a variable or a letter, that's considered one kind. So what I wrote here in the second bullet, x, 2x. 2x actually means 2 times x. We don't usually write the time symbol anymore. So when we write 2x, it's actually x plus x becoming 2x. Yeah. Half an x, 100x. These are all considered like terms. So I could add or subtract them and combine them into just some number times x. Then the third one, you've got a. 2a minus 34a, they are also considered like terms. x times y, xy, then 2xy, 67xy, these are also considered like terms. x squared, 5x squared, negative x squared, they are also considered like terms. So basically it's a term, like a, a family of terms would be number, potentially one or another number times a string of a sequence of letters, right? And then the exponents are important. So if you have x in a term, a like term cannot be x squared. It has to be just x. I don't know if I'm making this more complicated. Somebody raise a hand, yeah, Danielle? Yeah, me. Can I clarify that under what are like terms, each bullet point represents examples of like terms in between the commas? Yes? Yes, correct. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So I cannot, like x and a are not like terms, but x and 2x are like terms. x squared and x are not like terms, but x squared and 5x squared are considered like terms. So I could add x squared to 5x squared and get him six. We'll see that later, right? And the other thing that I want, so I said, do not combine non-like terms. If the terms are not the same, just write them separately. Don't try to group them unless we say factor or something, but otherwise just leave them separate. And then x times y is the same as y times x. So these two, you could, you could switch them so that the letters show up in the same order in the multiplication. That makes things slightly easier. So what I said is x, y is equal to y, x. You could switch the order of the, of the product, yeah? So I think that next exercise I show what is combining like terms, right? And then this is when it's good to do use of maybe the whiteboard. Yeah. But here, here's a, here's what we have, right? 3x parenthesis, 3 minus 4i, close parenthesis, minus 5x, right? That's the one I had on the slide. I am not writing anything, but when we write them together, these are already multiplications implied. So... It's 3 times x times 3 minus 4 times y minus five times x. Yeah, these are already, oh, that is very cool. Like you managed to move the square, but I don't know how to, how to do that even. Uh, so the first thing is to, before we combine the like terms, we do the distributive property. Like this is uh, in some other, so we need to, to multiply this out to remove the parentheses. We need to do this. I don't know if you guys remember that. Mm -hmm. But 3x times 3 minus 4y, it has to be 3x times 3, right? Blah. Plus 3x times negative. This is the part where sometimes we drop the negative sign. So you have to be very careful that you don't forget the negative sign because it can change everything minus 5x, right? And then this becomes 9x, right? Because this three, these, these guys multiply. And then here I multiply this three with negative four, it becomes minus 12, right? Numbers multiply numbers. And then x, I have one x and I have one y, right? and then minus five x, right? 
right? So these are like numbers. These are like terms because it's a number times just x raised to exponent of one. So I can combine them. So 9x minus 5x becomes 4x. And then this guy, I can't do anything because it's a different one because it has a y. So this one becomes like this, minus 12 x y, like that. Yeah, so that's, uh, sometimes later on people say, now you factor it back again or whatever, like that's a different thing, right? When we say like combining like terms, all I wanted to show is basically this step. You have nine x and you have negative five x, they are considered like terms, so they can be combined into 4x. The middle one is a different guy, so just a little bit separate. But if there was an x squared, x squared is a separate one. So that's what we call like terms. So the exponents of the, basically the exponents of the variables have to be the same for the like terms. So if you have x squared, then they all need to have x squared. If you have x squared, y squared, then they all need to have x squared, y squared. Yeah. 